On March 7th at the 2023 Air and Space Force Association's Warfare Symposium, the U.S. Air Force for the first time provided the breadth and depth of its plan for its future fighter plans. The plan entails purchasing 200 units of the 6th generation NGAD fighter in addition to operating the existing 300 units of the 5th generation F-35 Lightning II and providing support for those fighters with 1,000 autonomous drones, with each fighter having two drones. Alongside the development of manned aircraft of the 6th generation, work is being done on Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. The term refers to the support drones, which would serve as extensions of the sensors, electronic warfare, and weapons mounted on manned fighters, preventing them from having to take the risk of going to the edge of the battle until absolutely necessary. Just for the current fiscal year, the Air Force has a total budget of $2.4 billion, of which $392 million is allocated to the development of CCAs. Given that the Air Force has already made it abundantly clear that each fighter will cost hundreds of millions of dollars, the overall NGAD program could cost more than $100 billion. The total of 200 NGAD combat jets is approximately equivalent to the size of the Air Force's existing fleet of F-22s. This means that the Raptors might be the ones to be replaced soon. It has also been reported that the F-22 is participating in the EndAD program in some capacity, possibly acting as a testbed upon which the NGAD fighter would be developed. NGAD is the United States' sixth generation program that is tasked with developing the future family of systems that will ensure air superiority even in the most challenging operational environments. After the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as DARPA, finished its study on the Air Dominance Initiative in March of 2014, NGAD was launched and following the AS-2030 flight plan, the United States Air Force would join in on this mission in the year 2016. NGAD today is working on developing several key technologies in areas such as propulsion, stealth, advanced weapons, digital design, and thermal management of the aircraft's signature. To a large extent, the new NGAD fighter will characterize the entirety of the family and its capabilities. What we could expect from the 6th gen fighter includes number 1. Cutting edge technology The NGAD fighter will be able to detect targets, friendly forces, and points of interest from tens of miles away. And because of this capability, the fighter will function as an aircraft for surveillance, reconnaissance, and acquisition of targets all at the same time. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity and therefore the ability to share their data with every other member of the fleet. By keeping every member of the fleet abreast of relevant information in real time, the United States would be able to do away with radars mounted on aircraft and replace them with electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft fuselage. The sensitivity of the sensors and the adaptability of the network are both improved as a consequence of this. Additionally, it helps with communication throughout the entire fleet and, ultimately, remote control. As a result, the end-of-the-world fighter can be piloted with or without crew members depending on the particulars of the mission. The end of commercials fighter is loaded to the gills with the fullest complement of the United States' most cutting-edge firearms, bombs, missiles, and laser-based weapons. The United States Air Force, as well as the Navy, would benefit from all this. Yes, you heard that right. While the new NGAD craft would replace Air Force's F-22, the Navy would also like its F-18 Super Hornets to be swapped. Though there are still discussions around the topic, some people believe that the F-22 should not be replaced, but rather should continue to operate alongside the newer crafts. Number 2. Open Architecture From laser weapons, to high-performance guns and missiles, to jet engines, achieving supersonic flights, to even loyal wingmen, one can never have enough of the most advanced technology. The United States, and for that matter most of the other countries too, have learned from decades of history that an aircraft will always have room to be improved. This is why the NGAD fighter will come equipped with an open architecture that enables it to quickly and easily incorporate new upgrades. As new technologies roll out with time, the fighter will be able to continually adapt and overcome the new challenges that are introduced onto the battlefield as a result of the advancements that are made by rival militaries. To put it in another way, the NGAD fighter of the 6th generation is capable of being upgraded to the 7th generation several years after it's been manufactured. Or at least that is what the plan is until now. Number 3. Stealth And last but not least is Stealth. According to the reports, this NGAD jet will optimize its stealth capabilities by taking on an overall triangular shape, storing its payload internally, and not having a distinct tail section alternately referred to as vertical stabilizers. Before the concept of active flow control was brought to life in the B-2 spirit, vertical stabilizers were always necessary for an aircraft in order for it to remain airborne. 
In a manner analogous to how birds soar through the air, an aeroplane's ability to stay aloft is dependent on a system called active flow control, which employs onboard computers to make constant adjustments to the flow of air around the plane. When applied to an aircraft, this results in top-tier stealth. However, the price for this design is very expensive, which helps to justify, to some extent, why B-2 costs $2 billion and why Congress has budgeted more than $10 billion for the end advertisement in a period of fewer than 10 years. Several countries are still attempting to develop their own fifth-generation fighters. Nonetheless, it only took a couple of years from the start of real development on the project to the first flight of an undisclosed sixth-generation jet. Several sixth-generation programs are in various stages of development around the world. While the European Future Combat Air System FCAS, is expected to fly its next-generation fighter, NGF, for the first time in 2026, the British-led Tempest is expected to be operational by 2035. Both China and Russia are thought to be developing sixth-generation combat planes. Due to the limited amount of information that has been made public so far regarding the US NGAD fighter, all we can do at this time is keep an eye out for it. Nonetheless, despite the fact that it still has a significant number of targets and benchmarks to achieve, as well as the possibility of experiencing some schedule delays and cost overruns, the Air Force looks to be serious about delivering it by the year 2030. How much of an impact will the 6th generation fighter jets have on the world? And also, is all the budget and effort spent on the program worth it in the end? Tell us what you personally think in the comments below. This brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can continue bringing you more content like this. See you next time!